Now the easiest way to do this is to go through and separate her skin from the costume. So I'm going to give her, a, just for now, a little grayish tone to her skin. Fill in all these little tiny holes. Because regardless of having to spot all these little tiny holes, I found that it is still faster than going through with a marquee tool or that lasso tool and selecting all of it. you'll see that it selects all between this line art. The best thing you do is expand it, two pixels. Anything else that you have left over, you can simply select like that. Most of the time it's not going to matter at all. There we go, we have our shoulders separated. It's mainly what I want. And then we'll separate this section. We see that this has a line that goes across. So I'll separate this. Especially when you're dealing with something that's cross-hatching. Using this method of just selecting the, the lasso is going to be easier than going through and using just small little selections. You can also use the pencil tool and outline everything, but using just that selection tool seems to work just fine. Okay, let's fill this up. And we'll come over here. And since how? I want to show you all these methods of flatting. Let's. I want to show you how normally you would do this. And especially right now, since how I'm running out of the large open clean selections, meaning the background, there's nothing there that's. nothing like cross hatching. Now when you're selecting colors you don't have to worry about going outside of the color that you're wanting to change. In fact it's best that you do go outside of that color that you're wanting to change. That way when all the colors, when you fill it in, all the colors will just be one pixel separation. Now I could go in and fill all of this with a pencil tool. It may be
be just as fast. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go ahead and fill this in. Everything is now filled. So make sure that all layers is unchecked. So we this looks like her skin. So we'll use this pencil tool. Get a smaller area. You can do this with the mouse. It's just as simple as with a pencil or a Wacom tablet. Basically, with uh, a pencil tool, you go outside of, basically you're going to be doing it just like you're doing it with the lasso. You're just selecting your color, and you fill it in. There, one arm is complete. And we see her starting to take a little bit more shape now. Sometimes I'll still do this for an extra income. Sometimes a person will just send me an email, ask me if I'm willing to do it. Tell me how many pages they have or and the deadline. I'll flatten their pages for them. If I could do this at my normal job, I could make in twice as much as I do just working one job. There's not just one method of doing flatting or rendering. Everyone has their own styles. Um, a style that I seem to like is when you're rendering is this painted style. Seems that uh, a lot more colorists are starting to do this rather than doing the the old cut edge look where you have looks like it's been stenciled and airbrushed um, used to be really popular back in the 90s a company called Liquid when they came out they started doing a lot of coloring for comic books and then people started going for the more painted style gives it more of a realistic look and you're also using actual elements of when you're really painting meaning you're not just making it pop you're also using real terms for painting if that makes sense but I'm not painting on this, just filling in all the little holes.